the 1620s maze. A hidden surprise for many, our maze has developed over many years, with many different guises. Constructed over the site of a demolished building, it has its fair share of challenges for the garden volunteer team. Today's maze, wrapped inside a yew hedge, is stocked with ivy and other spreading plants, set within robust raised beds to combat the rubble beneath. Earlier versions were made of lavender, planted directly into the ground, but each in turn fell victim to parched roots, heavy frosts and small feet. The maze is a very simple classic geometric design. While today this is a place for children to play with their parents, in the early 17th century this was an expensive and luxurious feature to be admired from the upstairs windows and to be shown off to visitors on a sunny day. This is no bewildering or terrifying maze as seen in the films, as everything except the yew is low. Remember, it was designed to be seen from above. Several much older mazes survive around the country, and the bigger the house, the bigger the maze. Some are vast with high hedges, a genuine risk of getting lost, and require an army of hedge trimmers. Not a quick job now, let alone in the 17th century. Our maze is quick to complete, but still raises a smile for those who reach the red, peacock-bearing central pole, shielded by its own curtain of yew. When not travelled by excited small humans, the maze is enjoyed by lots of insects and birds searching for nourishment among the spreading leaves.